Now I'm going to run this as a Java application to see if it will launch as a Spring Boot application. Well, as you can see, now there is an illegal argument exception. And it says comment is not a managed type. So now I have to mark comment as an entity. But why would Spring Boot complain about the comment class? It is just a plain Java class. Well, I have mentioned the comment class in the comment repository, which extends from CRUD repository. That's the reason why it complains. So of the two generic types of the CRUD repository, first one should be an entity, and the second one should be the type of the primary key of that entity. So the comment class should be annotated with at entity annotation. Now, because I have enabled auto configuration at the root package, all the sub packages will be scanned for entities. Otherwise, I'd have to use the entity scan annotation to tell Spring Boot where to find the entities. I'll run the application again. Now there's another problem. No identifier specified for entity comment. Now I have to annotate the primary key of the comment with at id annotation so that it's recognized as the primary key. And run it once again. Now that it started successfully, I'll get back to the integration.